and he brought Cher to the sessions with him. And she was 16 at the time. And uh, we really got along well. I think I kind of befriended her, you know, just to sit down and talk. Hey, what's your name and what's going on? And one session, I got upset with Phil about something that I don't even remember at this late date. And I went home. I left the session. Rather than be, being acting the way he was acting, I just said, I've had enough and I'd leave. And on this particular date, he was trying to finish the session. And Sonny said, well, you don't have to worry about it. Cher can, my girlfriend can sing. And it was Cher. And she sung that night, did some background, and the rest is history. <laughs> History may be, but it seems that this relaunch singing career Cher's enjoying now following her break into films isn't one she herself was too keen to make. Both times that I've sung in my life, it was because of a man. Sonny was the first one who literally pushed me out on stage, and John Kladner, who works at Geffen. I didn't want to make the album. I just said, you know, I never really liked being a singer because I never thought I was very good at it. At least at acting, I can look at, at my work and go, you can be proud of that. And he said, no, no, no. Your best work is ahead, and you don't know what you're talking about. I know you always think you do, but you don't, so shut up and just do this. And basically, I did it. And you accepted that? Yeah. I'm not stupid. I'm just difficult. <laughs> A slightly tongue-in-cheek statement there, referring perhaps to some press descriptions of herself, but more of that later in the week. This tour has already been on the road for five months now. A new album is due to be recorded in September, and film number seven is just completed. On top of that, Cher also brings up 14-year-old Elijah, who's currently touring with her during his holidays. And I'm sure the question many other mothers not quite so busy are asking is how does she fit it all in? I don't know. I, I guess... I feel like I'm always like a day late and a dollar short. I always feel like I'm catching up because there's so many things to remember, you know, but... It's the life that I chose, so I guess I wanted it. I just wish there was more time to do it. Mm. Well, we, I mean, we've obviously seen your show. It's coming to Europe later in the year. Everybody else will get the chance to see it. I mean, how much do you decide what the show consists of? I decide the whole thing. I picked out all the songs. I picked out all the dancers. I picked out all the musicians. I helped design the stage. It's pretty much, I mean, if you like it or you don't like it, it's pretty much my fault one way or another. Yeah, wow. the second part of that series tomorrow here at the same time. I was going to say she's quite a lady, but well, she's all lady, isn't she? Mm, do you see those costumes? Mm -hmm. Wow. You see the hair? Wow, it's a lot of hair. A lot of hair, like an explosion in a mattress factory, I think. <laughs> You've got a cheek to talk about anybody with a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 7.57. Ulrika's back.